हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर विजनरी क्लासेस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन द एनवायरमेंटल साइंस सब्जेक्ट हियर वी आर विद द लेक्चर नंबर 4 दैट इज ऑन द हीट ट्रांसफर एंड प्रोसेसेस सो बिफोर द I will start my lecture series. I would like to request you to subscribe our channel and contact us for the latest study material and join our regular online classes. And please follow us on the Instagram and Facebook too. So our topic of today is the heat transfer processes. Means what kind of heat energy we are seeing in environment, how it is transferred. We need to learn that. So there are basically three modes of transfer of heat that we know around us that is conduction convection and radiation so what is we know about the conduction so the conduction says that there is a direct flow of heat through a material resulting from a physical contact so what we can see here suppose we have a metal rod and we are heating at one of its end through a heating source so what happens the molecule of that metals gets starting vibrating and that vibration gives energy to the next molecule and like this we will get the heat being transferred to one end of the metal to the other end so this is a process of conduction where through the physical contact of the heating source with the metal body it gets transferred from one end of the metal to the other end of the metal okay so this is a process of a transfer by contact in the second method we are seeing the heat transfers between a surface and adjacent fluid that is gas air and liquid so it is the transfer between the two bodies okay so what happens here the body are not in the physical contact with each other rather they have a density difference between the two media so in the process of convection we are seeing that heat is transfer between the two surface and by the flow of the fluid from one place to another there is a induced in the temperature which heats the other object so what happens here we are not in the physical contact still we are getting heat and it is transferred between the two medias okay the third one is the radiation okay so show what happens here no transfer medium required it is transferred of thermal energy through a matter of space by electromagnetic waves what happens if we are heating a source there is a lots of electromagnetic waves getting radiated out from it so that amount of heat that is being radiated through the electromagnetic waves from a heating source is also called as radiation okay so in this figure we can see the all the three process happening at a time so what are seeing here suppose there is a heating source okay so the heating source is heating the container that contains the water okay so it is heating the water also as well as the container also if we touch that container we will see that our hat is feeling hot because the heat is transferred through all the molecules of this container through vibrational energy and transferred to our hand and we are feeling hot okay so this is a mechanism of conduction here okay now the Uh, heating source and the container is lifted till till so much upward okay what happens here the containers water is also being heated and as well as the container is being heated okay but the air that is above it is not in the direct contact with the container still it is getting heated as well as as well as the molecule inside the container is not in direct contact with the heating source still it is being heated because it is through the process of the convection that the solid heating source is heating the liquid water source without being in the physical contact this is a process of convection 
while we are seeing that the heating source is producing some kind of waves okay that is known as the process of radiation that is releasing the heat so we are completing here the mechanism of heat transfer okay we have one more process that is called advection that is responsible for the transfer of heat in a horizontal direction so advection is the heat transfer in the horizontal direction wind transfer by advection okay wind transfer heat by advection so what happens here here basically the wind is the phenomena that is transferring the heat from one place to another in a horizontal direction that process is called as advection okay it happens frequently on the earth surface okay there are two types of advection that is warm air advection and second is the cold air advection what is warm air advection wind blows warm air towards the region of colder region what we can see by example suppose there is a mountain that is having lots of snow and it is full of ice around it okay so this is will be cold region okay the air above it will be cold suppose we have a nearby place where there is a burning of some source okay that air will be hot air so it will travel and move above the cold air so that will be the warm air advection type here in the example also we are seeing that wind is transferring the warm air over the cold air while there is a cold air advection also what happens when wind air cold air wind blows the cold air towards the region of warm region the reverse process is called as our cold air advection so basically this is a process that is governed by the wind which transfers the heat in the horizontal direction only okay so now i will finish my lecture i hope you have enjoyed the lecture thank you